this tutorial is going to show you how to put in images, video and audio. So uh, if you go to your home page that we were working on previously um, and click onto files you'll see I've downloaded a few images here and all I've done is gone to Google and searched under the labeled for reuse option under the tools and then it just picked images that have the resolution that sort of matches the size of my table. So you can see it here when you hover your mouse over or if you get a size and then you can choose specific resolution images. Um, and the way you can usually tell is click on the edge of your table if you've got a table um, and then you decide on how big it is. So this one's 1400 pixels or 1400. Um, pick an image that fits within that category. So I've got something small enough so I'm going to click on home uh, which is one I've downloaded. You might need to download three, probably get one for home, one for the about page, one for images. Once you've put them into your um, correct folder, which is your my site one, which you made previously, it might be worth making a little folder in there called images and sticking them in there like I've done um, just for, I guess, orderliness. Um, and then you just go back to Dreamweaver and drag it in. So I'm going to drag it into here, which is this bottom cell here which I merged together by uh, kind of like what I did with the top here where I highlighted and dragged and then click down here. Um, I did that with this bottom row as well. Um, now what I want to do is center it so clicking in this box I just do horizontal center um, and there we go. So I've got an image for my home page. Um, I might go to my about page and do the same thing. I might just drag in my contact image and then I'm going to go to images and Press enter once so that I get onto the next line and drag in this strange picture of the world, uh, which is quite big. Uh, you can see here that it's uh, 1429 pixels. Um, you can shrink it in Dreamweaver if you like. It's usually a better option to shrink it outside of the program. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. Like You can do it in here like so, holding shift to keep the aspect ratios right, um, but you're pretty much wasting space. Uh, because um, it has to load the full size image um, but then get shrunk down so if you were to go to your images folder edit it with paint this is the quickest way and then just resize um, go to pixels and just I don't know, I'm gonna make it a thousand um, then press OK it'll resize hit save control s and then if you just go back to Dreamweaver it should auto update itself and there you go so now it fits a little bit nicer um, we're going to file, save all, and we'll just preview that back at my site, open up any of them, and we should be able to jump between. Nice and easy. Alright, so that's putting in some images. Um, if we go back to Dreamweaver, I can show you the code and how that works. So, um, as you can see down here, it says IMG, SRC, and then you insert the name of the image. Um, if for example, I got a new image. I could just change this code if I want it to be in the exact same place and just change its name just there. Um, it also gives you information about its size here as well. Um, alt is the alt text, which loads up if you hover your mouse over it. Um, it might it gets read by uh, screen narrators and that kind of thing. All right, now I'm going to show you how to chuck in some video and audio. Um, you can see I've put some into my root folder already. I've got a MP4 and MP3 song. Um, and if you have a look at them here, you can see them. Um, what's important is that they go into the same place as your web pages themselves. Um, it just helps with the way we're going to put them in, uh, which is using HTML5. Uh, we used to have to use plugins, not anymore. Uh, so uh, the way I like to do this is pretty simple. Um, I've made up a PDF that has the different HTML5 code for inserting media, as well as a little screenshot on how to do it on YouTube, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, but all you got to do is highlight the code. Uh, this is also available in the description of this video uh, if you want to get this code yourself without having to write it all out. So you just press Ctrl C to copy once you've highlighted it um, and go back to whichever page you want. I'm going to put it on my about page um, and then I'm going to press enter to get below here and I'm going to write a word like, I don't know, poo. Um, and I do that so that I can double click it in my code and then press Ctrl V to paste. And now I know exactly where my code's gone. Um, I press enter just so you can see what's going on. Um, we don't need this OGG one because we're not going to use that format because we're using MP4 so you can just delete that. Um, and so the code reads in a stack. Um, it's going to load the MP4 video and if it can't load it it'll display this 
your browser does not support the video tag. Um, so this tells you how wide and how high it's going to be. We can change that ourselves. Um, and this is obviously the file name. So all we got to do is go have a look, which is a logo.mp4. And if we type it in here, it should find it for us. There we go. Because it's in our root folder. All right, now we just uh, need to preview it. So press Control S to save um, and then open up your page. And you should see it here. That's that. So that's uh, putting it in MP4 or an OGG, but we're not going to use that. Um, and if we want to put audio on in the form of MP3, um, I'm just going to go to my images page here and put it on here just for the sake of doing something different. Um, gee, this picture is huge. Who put this enormous picture in here? I'm just going to shrink it down to get out of the way. All right. Click underneath that one and we're going to do the same kind of thing. Go to split view um, and go back to your HTML5 or go to the description of this video. Scroll down to where it says adding audio and you just copy that um, and go back to Dreamweaver and do the same thing. Write a word somewhere so you can find it in your code. Double click, paste, control V. Um, you don't need the OGG once again because we're just using MP3. So get rid of that and it's going to be called song here but we don't want it to be called that we want it to be called fade with a capital f and it finds it for you um, and that is that so hit refresh it pops it in for you here um, we can delete that extra space and control s to save and we're going to open up uh, images and there it is <laughs> Now you might ask, we want to auto play it um, instead of having to press play. Uh, that's a simple change uh, just up here in your code where it says audio controls. So if you just press enter to see that, go to audio controls and choose auto play. Um, and that should make it work now. So control S um, and there you go. Easy. So that's how you put in audio, video, and images. Thanks for watching this tutorial.